The eagle's wings are a symbol of protective strength and sustaining power. When a mother eagle is teaching her eaglets to fly, she bears them up on her wings high up into the sky, and then she shakes them off, encouraging them to fly on their own. But the young, inexperienced eagles soon tire themselves out, and their wings become exhausted, and they begin to plummet back down to the earth. But the mother eagle is always keeping a watchful eye, and she sees the little eagle is falling, she swoops down and catches them on her wings and bears them up high up into the mountain where the nest is located. Now I tell you, if you let me digress here for a moment, because that reminds me of something about the grace of God. God delights in blessing his children and teaching them to cling to that which is good. He bears them up to high places knowing that our weak and inexperienced eagle wings will soon tire out. But I heard him say, when we fall to the ground, uh, he would, if we would just humble ourselves, he will exalt us. He invites us this morning to come and fly with the eagles. Well, let us hasten on to our text this morning. Moses had wrestled with the problem of wilderness wanderings for 40 long years. Now his work as the lawgiver and as the leader of God's chosen people is rapidly coming to an end. Before Moses can retire to the arms of God, he must choose a successor to his leadership position so that his successor can lead Israel into the promised land. How would you like to work hard for 40 long years and when it's time to realize the blessings somebody else steps in, and carries it on the rest of the way. But you see, a child of God is only interested in advancing the kingdom of God. It doesn't really matter who gets the glory, just as long as the kingdom moves forward. You see, sometimes God uses some folk as builders and some folk as occupiers. But sometimes a, a, a builder, an occupier wants to become a builder, and a builder wants to become an occupier, and you get the whole thing messed up. Right. We got to stay in the place that God intends to be. And then the whole church can move forward. Well, so here Moses is. Well, he had to commit the keeping of the law to the priests and admonish the children of God to be obedient to the God, to the word of God. All of this, having been accomplished, Moses breaks out here in chapter 32 in praise and adoration to Almighty God. This is the song of Moses in this chapter. 